Hello and welcome back to another episode of Lamplighters League. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough on the hardest difficulty. It's week number 29 and that is time means it's time for the fourth tower, the keys to the tower tower in South Asia. Unfortunately, Strum and Marteau will hit the next breakpoints, but it's a tough life. It's a hardy knock life. What are you going to do about it? Uh, the tower itself apparently is not enough to get uh, Strum back, although we are in Strum territory, but yeah, whatever. 13 skill points to Ether and a few more potential supplies. And we have a four-person team again, which is great. Uh, leave enough room for um, grabbing extra supplies. And we have all four of the characters with ceramic weapons upgraded which is great just looking at the sheer uh, power you know what we're going to see it in the game we're just going to use our standard agents they are good let's roll the clip and see how well we're doing let's go keys to the tower steal the last keystone and we're going to do exactly that Got a nice little thunderbomb too. Shame. Someone left this line around. That's why we always leave inventory spots. This map looks eerily familiar. We had been on that exact same map and collected resources in the rune complex. Yep, in that one. Come on, just want to backstep you. Ridiculous. Well, I wanted to show you guys how we're fighting against 17 enemies. Might as well start with that. Okay, let's get out of the explosion range. And that's one, two, three, four. Five. And we're skipping Wanna this dance? one. Every single one of them is blinded, thanks to our new talisman. Dazed and blinded. So good. On our side. Good. How about we upgrade? We can make it out of this. Yeah, I give I you AP and then we're going to get the sniper here. Nice cooldown reduction. Fantastic. Listen, they are all marked. Even if it kills me. Especially if it kills me. Huh. I want the guy right next to you, thank you. You know what? I don't want him because we need him with Ingrid. Good. Did not kill. How long is the cooldown? Three. Hmm. Uh, 
Okay, we could hit that. Two. You know, that's four hits. It would, of course, be better if we had already upgraded the ultimate, but I think four is okay for the beginning. God, I love this job. We killed one, so I was under the impression, since he was marked, that that would regain us an action point. Apparently that is not correct stick and move <coughs> fantastic hit now, Ingrid, we need you and your cleanup capabilities. You have to go and make things unpleasant. Very good. Moves in. Takes these two head. guys out. Fabulous. We can hit four over there. And we should certainly do that. Now Ingrid you know knocks another face. one down. Look at you, Swarter. Before bad, knocking boys. four people down. That still leaves this guy here. But we're okay. We're not going to take that much damage. Ah, summonings. Good, lots of people. <laughs> Put a smoke grenade there. All right, we really came out of this without a single point of damage. Although we're fighting three times as many enemies. That'll shred some armor, plus blind all of them. Good, all three are again blinded, which is fantastic. Y'all see that? Another great shot. You really want to impress me? Do that again. It would be good to somehow get all of these guys. Shooting through here and then somewhere like that there.
Here. Good. That'll be a kill. Unfortunately, it was not marked, apparently. Just leave all of these guys alone. They can do whatever they want. Oh no, I wanted to uh, stick and move. My bad. Good, we'll just leave these guys uh, there all alone. Dazzling, no? Blinded and knocked down. Fantastic. Free move. Taking notes on this? Oh, nice one. Good, that's a knockdown. Don't carry on, sir. And a kill. Not sure if uh, these flies, what the flies are doing. These guys never survived long enough. Except this time they did. Moves to here, into cover, and our sniper moves into cover as well. These guys shouldn't be able to do anything. Yeah, double move. Good, all of a sudden, all of these guys are moving up. So the swarms apparently seem to heal. That's four people that we would hit. Maybe we can even get a better uh, shot if Eddie can reduce their, uh, his cooldowns. Uh, and I know exactly how we could do that. We are there you go. All cooldowns reduced.
One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Good hit. Fantastic hits. They'll get out of uh, cover. And are marked. Oh yeah, I can... Oh yeah, I can see... I can see it. So, you want to see what I can really do? Still four. Too bad. That would be five. No, that's also just four. That's five. I think it doesn't get much better than that. Now, now, don't be shy. Mega cooldown reduction should have taken that shot here first. Ooh, right in the soft bits. Kill reduction, stress reduction, cooldown reduction, we're reloading. One down. Yeah, that bull doesn't do deal enough damage. Still no cooldown reduction. That was your last chance. Oh my god, that's would have brilliant. wanted to kill him and push him in there because that would have uh, granted us some much needed um, ex extra CC. Fortunately, it didn't work out. Between the third and fourth thoracic. You see? More blinded. And nah, so close, but yet not killable. That should be a kill. Yep. Kill here. And we're just sticking moving on this guy. Could be a kill. You blinked. Nope, because it was not a crit. And back into cover. We might take one shot.
Well, that was just a poison grenade. The guy is blind, but apparently that does not prevent him from using grenades. Sorry for the background noise, by the way. Take this. There you go. The beetle swarms are not a problem for us. Together now. Cleansing. Good. This might uh, reset, light him up. You best stay down and keep away from my friends here. One, two. Uh, I was hoping for more. Didn't uh, check our ammo count. Uh, we're okay with the ammo, but it could be a bit better. Minus one cooldown, that's good. Don't stop now. Didn't have to go this way. Good. Knockdown perfect. Blast. 90% shots missed. Okay. Can happen. Isn't that a lovely sight? This guy is almost down. Your eye off the price. I'm pretty sure we had, I'm pretty sure we had uh, a turn left over. Not so fast. Huh. All right, someone in the background was hangry. I needed to solve that. So, Eddie definitely has too little ammunition. Reloads. And it would be great to have his cooldowns back. It would also be good to have our cooldowns back. Stick and move. That's what you get. <laughs> There's a good lass. Fantastic. That's a hit. Moves to there. And barely cannot reach her. Come on. I didn't want to use a consumable, but it is what it is. There are not many people like you in this world, Anna. Please let this bring some justice to the world. Good. 
One, two, three, four, and skip. Fantastic. Absolute legend I am. Even if it kills me, especially if it kills me. Huh. Good, we're prepping to take the others down. Oh wait, we have one over here. Good, fantastic. That worked well. Even easier than falling in love. Down, boy. Twenty damage with these little bugs. Good baseline learning. Don't ignore the bugs. The other baseline learning is don't F up your initial engagement, then you don't need to fight 17 enemies. Come on, y'all. Get a frag grenade, get another frag grenade. More frag grenades. Oh yeah, they do have a lot of frag grenades. Ordinance Eddie might 30. take one. It sure as hell works. Easy does it, Ed. Should have gotten up here with our sniper. Shame. Someone left this line around. You know, just in case when we're stealing that thing, if another encounter erupts, this time we got the high ground. Wait here. Don't wander. Good. So many grenades. Unbelievable. Some more lore. Ether. Dynamite. I think we can agree that dynamite is potentially a little bit better than the grenades. Just because the explosion radius is so large. One, Come on out two. Now. The third one has hidden. Clever little bastard. Nice little extra crit. One. You can two. help us with this. All right. 
right. And... Let's continue. Eddie continues to absolutely demolish this guy. Cool. Nice little knockdown. And we even dazed it. Okay, well, I think the, uh, it's fair to say that uh, the Guardians are relatively easy. As long as you do have knockdown, things are okay. Nice little bit of peace and quiet. Roll out! Stay put. Supplies, more supplies. Second wind, okay, interesting. Well, I can tell you, we're going to give all of you a couple there of uh, signature charge abilities back. De-stress, detox, and gain your signature you abilities ready? back. And we still have all of our out of combat abilities, so... Might we as well use them. Whatever it takes. This always works. Except when it don't. Pretty much messed these guys up. Got an iron key for something. Steal a supply crate. Well, we're going to do the optional objective, of course. You know you wanna. The lights out. There is one more in front, but that's okay. So for starters, I want to deal with you. So we're immediately going to knock down. Run for the hills, boys! Flush out marked blinded. That's what I'm talking about. Lucky shot.
Good, end of turn. Buffalo Bill, eat your heart out. Guys blinded. Comes a little bit closer. Gets knocked down, because I don't want to deal with his bullshit. Very nice armor shredded. Still in range. You know what? Might as well really go out of range. Eddie reloads. Watch out! They brought more. You move uh, and move in fast. And some extra actions. Okay, cool. So. Eddie does exactly that. He moves in. Want to dance? Marked and blinded and flushed out. It's crazy just how many debuffs uh, they are getting. I told you I could handle this on my own. <laughs> what a shot! Love to see it. be over soon. <laughs> I am tired Knocked of your face. Another knock knock down. I'm just continuing with the assassin here. Cool. I hate the clingy ones. And that is that. Make tracks. Good, so what did we get ourselves for? So yeah, we got the um, optional objective, which I think is a bit more yeah, surprise. This. The undrawn hand strikes again. Come on, y'all. And we got a mode of fate. I mean, that's quite fair. Extra card. 
and a lot of extra loot. And we're home free! And the Kistan is ours. It's so beautiful. I can look at it forever. Good. I would love to get a bit more King Ether. We do have Ceramic Steel, which I thought was kind of the most rare resource. And we got a few of them on the missions, but King Ether, so far, not happening. Good. Come on, good cards for once. The Comet, okay. And the Gambler. Plus 7% hit chance on reload. This agent becomes inspired. That's a really good passive. Potentially. Going here. Alright, um, yeah, that's a good I to say replacement, I like it, means necessary. because he needs the hit chance to get uh, people marked in the first place. Agent becomes inspired after dodging an attack. I think that's decent. Practice makes perfect, you see? Shield Maiden, eh, not so much. Discard the hand. Could be the breakthrough we've been waiting for. A keystone. We're that much closer to the day my agent set foot in the tower. Tower mission available. Three heists, four keystones. The tropic device is complete. It's entered to. Uh, it's time to enter the tower at the end of the world, which I assume is the last mission. What did you find out there? Worth the effort. Good. Good. Of course, the banished court makes progress as well. Both Strum and Marteau. Are now active uh, within many regions of the world. This is it. Four. Cool. King Ether still missing. But we got ourselves a couple of skill points. I think I want to definitely get the ultimate up here. And then we got uh, Fortitude. <coughs> Only thing that's missing is Lockdown 3. Almost maxed out. She comes in at 124 points of damage. That's not bad. Looking good out there. Unfortunately, this year is hidden behind uh, the King Ether uh, walls. That's very unfortunate. If we upgrade it, she recovers 15 health. That's good enough. If we upgrade his Comet, that's 10% hit chance just from the card. That's good. Can't complain about either of that. I think with his passive abilities, Eddie is very, very well equipped. Uh, the Sage here is good. The Bull is great for crowd control. And the Gambler, yeah, I guess is a neat little addition. Got a Gambler on her as well. The Serpent definitely is great. I very much would like that. Would trade the Gambler definitely for the Serpent. 
But there, then again, I would potentially trade many of the cards for the Serpent because action points are so valuable. What is it you see? And look at that. We do have way we okay, do have enough intel. Enter the world at the end uh, enter the tower at the end of the world. This would be an interesting one. I need results. Watch your back. Yeah, I think we're going to complete it. That's 31 um, episodes. Not bad for a playthrough. I assume this is the last uh, mission. Let's, Let's see, is there anything deal. that we could uh, give our agents since it is the last mission? Look at that. Look at the dynamite. I think one healing is fine. One more ranged healing and we're good. I think we're just leaving a couple of uh, spaces open for the last uh, would we really we don't need really need to do that get one extra healing just in case it's needed and a nice little frag grenade so that she can dish out some aoe damage if needed okay Seems like a well-deserved uh, end of this mission. At the end, everything uh, worked out perfectly fine. Got the Castro and Strum. Wow, the Castro is making so much progress. Would you believe it? Down here. And down there. <laughs> the ally recruitment missions come a little bit late, uh, too late. Well, that's something for a different time. Anyways, that's uh, the end of today's episode, uh, well, guys. Indeed. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate uh, your viewership. And as always, if you like Lamplighters League content, leave a comment and a like down below. And see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.